I am so pissed off right now. And you're, th you're thinking, what, Lindsay, what? What? You don't, you don't let these things get to you? We are subscribed to you. Uh-huh, so subscribed. Because you're, you got a, you got levity. You got a lightness. Because all those other comic book guys, you know what? They take this shit real fucking serious. And sometimes it's a little bit too much. That's what we like you. For the levity. For the brevity. But no. Not in this instance. I am so angry I'm tapping into all these emotions that I suppress. Because I'm like a real person that you suppress your emotions. I'm not crying. I'm not doing any of that shit. And you're like, well, what's going on here? And I'm, I'm saying to you, why, why are you not also experiencing the rage that I am experiencing? You're looking at the screen right now. You see what I'm saying? Do you see this shit? You see this shit that Joshua Middleton gave to the world for $4.99? What the fuck? Okay, maybe if you're, I don't know, slow and you're not getting it. This is Aquaman Jabberjaw's variant cover, and it's so goddamn beautiful that it's making me upset. I am upset, and I'm not about to not drop a diss track like Drake, which, oh god, Drake is fucking awful. Subscribe if you think Drake is fucking awful. I'm trying to get to 142. If I get to 142, then I'm good. Then I'll stop talking about it. I'm just saying, but just look at this. This is art. This is art. Oh my god. God, the regular, like, Aquaman Jabberjaw, I don't know. I don't know if I would have bought it, but then I saw this variant cover, and I was like, what, I'm not going to pop on that shit? Oh, my God. How dare you, Joshua Middleton. I'm just getting, I just keep getting pissed looking at it, thinking that a man, he sat down, he created this artwork for the world. This exists. How dare you? How dare you stir up my passions like that, Joshua Middleton? Probably, I'm, I probably go follow him on Instagram. I haven't done it yet, cause I keep getting pissed off thinking about you, Joshua. Just look at this! Oh my God, that shark's fucking huge. This man is so tiny. All right, let's get into this. This is this comic. It's a little wackadoo. It's a little silly, but let's just get into it. I'm probably not gonna. Probably gonna be skipping a lot of stuff because if if you wanted it, you would have got it already. And I highly recommend just getting this. Five dollars for this piece of artwork. If I saw if I didn't get this and I saw this a year from now, I would have shot up a mall. If I didn't get this, that's what that's, that's the rage building up inside me. Lindsay Parks, I would shoot up a mall 2018. So we see this, it's a little nod to Jaws. This woman is swimming at night, which the majority of sharks are nocturnal, so don't do that. That's also how that one guy who who made that shark water documentary, that's how he died. He went scuba diving in the middle of the night. Um, do you have a death wish guy? Also rip, rip that guy, he's a good guy. So we see she's freaking out, she sees a big ass shark fin. And she's like, oh, hi there, you know it's not safe out here? And she's quite confused. Because she thought the ocean was a giant pool because she's a stupid woman swimming at night. I mean, oh, God. If it's... Lady. I mean, getting eaten by a shark is honestly a way cooler method of suicide than just slitting your wrist or taking a bunch of pills in your bathtub. So, you know what? I changed my opinion. You know, you're, you're good. You're good in my book. I would think about attending your funeral. And I would I would peek in that casket. I mean, obviously it's going to be a closed casket, but if you tell me somebody's out of a shark attack, I'm peeking. I'm snooping around in that mortuary. I'm getting grimy with it. So then we see Aquaman here. He's standing very, almost too heroic, I would say. And we see that... And then I just can't help but think he's just been standing like that for hours and hours and hours. Like, there are people in a diner or something that's like, Yeah, that Aquaman, he's been... He's been standing like that in that exaggerated pose for at least four hours. And, uh... It's fucking creepy. It's fu it's weird. I mean, he looks heroic, but... It loses the heroin when I know he's been doing something weird for a long period of time. So... Now, I've learned, and consequently, you have learned, you can't hold a heroic pose for a long period of time, and you also can't just look at the sea for a long period. I know there's, like, old sea dogs, there are old men who, I'm pretty certain it's their job to just stare at the sea through 
unkempt eyebrows, but you gotta know it's a little creepy. So we see this lady with freckles, there have been a rash of shark attacks, but I mean, not really, just swim by shark conversations if we want to be for real. So they're having, having some food or whatever, and it doesn't matter, they're talking, and then we see, oh, we see Jabberjaw. And I gotta tell you, I mean, seeing Jabberjaw on this, con on the interiors and seeing this variant cover, it's a little disappointing. It's a little disappointing for me. But it's, it's whatever. So he sees the shark just floating around, I guess. I don't know the mechanics of Jabberjaw. I know the mechanics of a real shark, Jabberjaw. He's not a real shark. He's a drummer. Okay. Okay. Uh, do I need to say more? So we see that it's eating everything, and he goes into a convenience store, Jabberjaw. He's just... He's hungry. He wants some chips. And he's gonna need a bigger basket. Why didn't you get a cart? That's literally what a cart is. So he tries to use his... Aqua te telepathy is that is that the proper term here? And but it doesn't work. It doesn't work on him because he's sentient. So he doesn't understand how he got here. He's not a very good drummer. Which dude, you're a shark who's sentient. If I'm going to look at you, I think the drumming is gonna be second to just the the modern marvel of your existence. And if you can, I don't know, if you can keep a 4-4 beat, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm impressed if you can just hold the drumsticks. That's the bar. That's the Jabberjaw drumming bar. I'm not asking you to do some polyrhythms or do some double bass stuff. Just if you can, like, even if they just tape the drumstick to his fins, I'm still, I would be like, oh, that's, I'm still very impressed by that. Really, if you just duct tape anything to a shark's fence, I would be very impressed. So if you want to impress me, get out there and start doing it. So, um, Jabberjaw thought he was in Aqualand, and, of, I mean, this guy who would definitely know about a place named Aqualand, he's like, what? <laughs> and he, and apparently Jabberjaw's from the year 2076, well, man, the earth is gonna crack in two before we ever get there. And he recognizes Aquaman because the the TV show was very popular. A positive image of humans in the sea. Sea life living in harmony. Great! It's very influential in creating Aqualand. But then he starts getting, yeah, aqua tele telepathy. Mass terrors in the coastal waters. And then, like, look at this shark drawing. That's a fly fish. That's a goddamn fly fish. God, if Joshua Middleton could have drawn these interiors. Oh my god! Oh god, I'm getting... Mm, getting so angry, my fucking traps are on full tilt right now. My muscles are just going crazy. Jeez, I'm so angry. So they run into the water and they see all these sharks are... They're there. And they're gr gray. And this hammerhead is pissed. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but all of their... The white in your eye is called the sclera. That's for humans. Some sharks, they have pupils. Other sharks just got a big black eye. I'm just going to say for the, for this, I'm going to say their sclera is turned red. And you got to think of the amount of evil you have to achieve. Not just talking about evil. Actually accomplishing evil things for your sclera to turn red like that. I think you have to get permission from the devil to, to get that sort of biological change going. It's crazy and it's impressive. And then the sharks, they, uh, they're immune to Aquaman's aqua telepathy and Jabberjaw's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing, dog? Do you not see these red ass eyes granted from the devil? This is some serious shit. And then they see a portal and they go through it and they say they land outside of Sea Lab 2020. Now, I'm not as old as some of you. My Sea Lab is Sea Lab 2021, and I was like, holy shit, are we about to are we about to put some robot brains and some Wait, what is it? Put your brain in a robot body. Okay, yeah. You'd have the strength of five gorillas. And then now we see that they're in Aqualand. It's the year 2076. And the puns are just... They're about to get real bad. Welcome to L.A. L.A. Los Aquiles. That's what I did when I was reading. I just laid my head down. <laughs> it's one of the biggest cities in Aqualand. Along with Soklahoma. Cincinnati. Krillodelphia, y'all! What's up, deuces for the, my krills out there? 
And Swimmyopolis? They didn't even try with Swimmyopolis. You got me with Oklahoma, you got me with Cincinnati, you got me with Philadelphia. Good God, you got me with Philadelphia. Swimmyopolis? Who came up with it? Did an intern come up with that? Somebody just, some vagrant walking through the D.C. offices was like, Swimmyopolis, and they felt bad for him? And they're like, yeah, we'll put it in a book. You can do that. And we find out that there are humans living under the sea, but they're dicks. Yeah, but look at the way they're sneering, sneering at us. We're sea creatures, buddy. Water breathers. This is why we can't have nice things. We got these dicks who are living underwater, which I gotta tell you, water is a, probably about the, the most hostile environment for humans. I mean, you're thinking space, but you gotta think of the pressure as well, and the predators. I mean, the moon is just a rock. There's nothing up there. There's nothing that will eat us. Unless you watch that movie, Apollo 18? Is that it? Apollo 31? I don't know. Some bad found footage movie. But it's just like, ugh, awful. And the dream of Aqualand is beginning to crumble. Mankind likes to dominate. Folks like us are the underclass. There's a lot of anti-sea prejudice. Oh, man. I thought maybe this comic was going to take a turn into some unsavory shit, but it doesn't. It's alright. It's a segregated society with man on top. I would gladly submit to the shark overlords if I could get one of these bomb ass suits. Let it be known. Also, this this panel is fucking hilarious. You got you got a dolphin who will balance balls for food, which I thought that was more of a seal thing. I thought you just I could swim in a tank with you, but we're in the ocean, so the whole ocean is the tank, and maybe you feel a little frisky and you rape me. Dolphins rape people. They raped Hank Hill. Never forget. But it's super funny because somebody put a fucking coat on it. And you're like, oh no, that's obviously the dolphin's coat. Dolphins have coats! This shit, this, this panel is going to be making me think, just keep me up at night. I mean, this fucking, it's a dolphin, a homeless dolphin. His entire home is the ocean. This doesn't make sense. But it's funny as shit. And you know somebody drew this. The actual artist drew it. Not Joshua Middleton. Not Joshua Middleton. I'm, oh god, there go my traps. Oh shit. My traps. My traps are on full tilt. I don't even think that's a thing people say, but I'm trying to make it happen. I don't know. I don't know the artist, but you know they drew that, and I feel like somebody just peeked in, peeked into wherever he was drawing it and said, put a coat on him. And then <laughs> this is where we are. It's fucking funny. So, through like... Yeah, the social divide is many. It's sobering. Alright, let's grab a drink. What about there? Humans only. God damn it, humans. We have every right to humans only. Woohoo, don't go round up the ejector, pal. Mankind built them robot bouncers to keep riffraff like us out of nice places. Humans only. Fins, gills, and flippers are contrary to dress code. Does he have any of those things? I mean, I've read a comic from back in the day where he did have fins on the back of his shins, but I don't think he's rocking that. I think it's just, he, does, he doesn't have a cumbersome outfit. He should be allowed in. This guy, he's got to wait for him. But let's, I, this got me to thinking. Again, very dangerous if you stick around. From a business standpoint, from a business perspective, this is what you gotta do. I mean, okay, like, let's think about it. I'm, I'm thinking about it in the terms of, a, like, a comedy club. Like, something you would be selling tickets to. Perhaps a small indie band. I don't know. I don't know. Stand-up comedy is cooler. Okay, how many tickets... How much space is a sperm well gonna take up in my comedy club? Uh, all of it? Or half? Then I gotta charge that sperm well, like... 500 times what the regular price would be for humans because he's taking up all the space plus you got the comedian who's going to be performing for half a sperm well I mean is it the back half or is the head actually in there that's fucked up they just and then you got to think of all the variety of chairs you have to have I mean a horseshoe crab is going to need a different chair than like a sea snake or any of the variety of sharks if I start naming sharks this video is going to be about three hours long but I'm just saying, everything's so differently shaped. Most humans have two legs and an ass. I say most because we got people out there with like three, four asses. I don't know. But then, the flip side of it is, think about this. How many humans can you get in a comedy club? 
hundred, maybe. I'm picturing, I'm picturing the comedy club from from Louis C.K.'s show. Very small. Maybe a hundred people if you stack a couple on top of each other. But how many, how many uh, phytoplankton can you get in a business like that? Millions. You charge them a dollar a piece. You only have to do comedy club business for one fucking night before you load it. And I say phytoplankton because I feel it. I think that's literally the bottom of the ocean's food chain. If I'm wrong, please correct me. I like to learn. But I'm just saying, logistically, you can't be having great whites in there. You could probably fit like four great whites in there. You can fit at least 50 people. I'm just, it makes sense to me from a business standpoint. So, eventually, uh, the Neptunes show up. And they figure out some bad stuff's going down at Sea Lab, so then they head to Sea Lab and they see this huge fucking robot shark, and it eats him, of course, because what, what, what do you think he was made for? What do you even think he was made for, guys? And we see this guy, the Ocean Master, which I haven't delved too deep into Aquaman's lore, so I don't know if this is a real guy, but I gotta tell you that name leaves a lot to be desired. Second thing, I'm into these wetsuits. From him and his cronies. It's very like George Clooney Batman S to me. That's that's when you're buying a wetsuit, you gotta ask yourself, how sexy do I wanna be in my wetsuit? Because it's gonna function the same, and you gotta think you're probably gonna have that wetsuit for a while. So you just like how sexy sexy do you wanna be? Sleeves, no sleeves. Guns, always have guns. Always have guns with your wetsuits. But this guy, he he opened up the portal to send sharks to terrorize people so they'll never start living in the sea. A brilliant, brilliant plan. And then they start fighting. There's some Atlanteans there. It's all very silly. Yeah, and then he he starts sending out his aqua telepathy and all sorts of stuff starts happening. The sea shark starts exploding and, I mean it's silly it was worth it for the fucking cover and then everything works out humans and octopuses look at that I'm impressed he's actually holding it and wait they don't need I thought for oh no 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 okay okay in this one the humans now and now they're above ground we see he's got a fish who has the helmet on and that's very very fucking funny also, it's very funny that this lady has a tambourine. And then he just sort of emerges out from the depths. And it's fine. And these guys are like, hey, did you kill the shark? Because there's these guys who like to... They call it sport fishing. But it's called... Um, being a murderer. I don't know. I mean, like... I'm not a crazy animal person. But we need to just, like... If we could just kill less sharks, I'd be down with that. He's like, talk, you talk to it, what a fucking joke. Well, I feel like what a joke is, your idea of a chin, because it's just not there, man. And also, do you have a ponytail? What? You need to stop. Oh, and then, then they just have a woman who's probably married to this ginger here. And then we see this image. I don't get no respect. And then I just feel like this would be perfect to be airbrushed on a van. Probably if you live in the van, it would make it better. But I, that's just the feel I get for it. It's like, oh yeah, true. So yeah, it's silly. I skipped over a lot of the conflict because I got a lot of theories about the ocean and how to... Uh, just a lot of stuff. I'm still... God, there go my traps. I can't... Shit, I can't even turn my fucking neck. My traps are filled with blood. Oh, they're about to burst. I gotta... I gotta go solve this. I gotta go to the hospital.